What's up, Knights Nation? I'm Tim DePore here with Knights Media Network. Today we're at Late Night Breakfast, which is Bellarmine's most popular event, and it is absolutely packed here. Let's go check it out. Bellarmine's Late Night Breakfast took place at UDH during the week, and it was a huge success with students coming in for Late Night Breakfast, served by some of Bellarmine's staff. The event took place from 9 to 11 p.m. and was full of activities before breakfast started. Some of the activities consisted of incredibly built gingerbread houses, students playing cards, and students singing karaoke. Bellarmine students were eagerly waiting outside of UDH for the most memorable time of the year. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been here now 15 years. I don't know exactly when this started, but I know it, it goes back quite a ways. And it's always just a lot of energy. It's great to see so many students come out. And in my work, I'm often dealing with students who are having a hard time, you know? And so this is a completely different kind of experience where the spirits are up and students are excited. And yeah, we're a little nervous about finals, but it's also time to come together as a community and kind of celebrate what it means to be a student at Bellarmine. This is actually the first night that I've done it. I've come to Midnight Breakfast every year, but this is the first time I've actually served. However, I did serve in the dining hall in college as a first generation college student and Monday, Wednesday and Friday night I served dinner. The students are the best part of Bellarmine and uh, whatever we can do to serve them is important to me and it's the holidays, it's exams and we just want to show our support to every student's success. Yeah, I love late night breakfast. It's awesome to kick back with the Bellarmine community and get all the nights out here. Um, it's very packed. It's, it's awesome. So I'm enjoying myself of our finals, and I hope everyone does well in their finals. Bellarmine just added a new tradition to late night breakfast that was highly recommended by fellow seniors. Yeah, so they were just looking for a really good way to share some holiday spirit while also getting the senior class together. And obviously, late night breakfast is a perfect perfect way to do that because obviously I mean there's lines wrapping around the building people are always so excited about this event so we thought it would be a great way to showcase our seniors in particular give them an area where they can hang out um, you know enjoy some uh, drinks and just get to know one another because you know I think our class is really special because we started college kind of normal and then the pandemic happened and so now this is really like one of our first opportunities to really have a full normal year and we just thought it would be a great idea to have this event. So, yeah. Man, it's a, I really do like it. It's an amazing experience. Uh, finals week, seniors, and there's nothing better than this. Uh, I like these, this new touch with the mimosas. It's a good way to relax before finals, just chill with all the upperclassmen. It's, it's nice that we're now officially 21. Um, but yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good touch. I like it. One of the biggest setups for late night breakfast was the chocolate fountain. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've, I've never seen a chocolate fountain before. It's the first time. Pieces they had available to dip in the chocolate range from strawberries to marshmallows. Another incredible station that Late Night Breakfast offered was a hot chocolate making station where students can make their own hot chocolate and ingredients like marshmallows, candy canes, whipped cream, and sprinkles were all included. There you have it, Nice Nation. Late night breakfast was a huge success. From mimosas to chocolate covered strawberries, everybody was thrilled to be here. I'm Tim DePore, signing off from Nice Media Network.